Good morning. Uh, Numbers chapter 11, verses 18 through 35, is a extremely important account of the feast in the wilderness. Uh, If you've read Numbers, then you know that uh, the people traveling through the wilderness are accompanied by Yahweh. They are accompanied by the Lord God. Uh, He is visibly present with them in cloud and fire. Uh, they, there is never a moment when his presence is not felt because it says earlier in Numbers that uh, at night when the tent of meeting was set down, uh, it was, it was uh, it in, in closed in a, in a fire glow. And during the day, it was enclosed in a cloud covering. So there was never a time when he was not visibly present. But as they travel, they complained that they didn't have any meat, that all they had was this manna, this bread, which they had only at his command and at his word. And they complained. And so the Lord told Moses, uh, I'm going to feed this people. But when he said that, he said, I'm going to feed them meat and they will eat meat until it comes out their nose. And so that's what happens. That's exactly what happens. Now, some of the people, uh, if if you read the account, some of those people uh, suffered a judgment. And so, not everything about this feast in the wilderness was a blessing. Now, contrast that with the two feasts in the wilderness that... The same Lord that accompanied them, the same Lord that was with them by fire and cloud, who came, Jesus, uh, Yahweh saves, when he fed the people in the wilderness, 5,000 men at one time, plus women and children, 4,000 another time, plus women and children, they ate their fill, And the disciples picked up the leftovers, and there was no judgment. You see, when the Lord Jesus comes, when the Lord, when Yahweh comes to save his people, there is no judgment that comes upon us because he receives the judgment upon himself that fills us with good things. The judgment that came upon his people under the law because of their grumbling was a judgment he assumed unto himself. And now we are fed to the full without recompense upon us for our failures, for our sins, for our unrighteousness, because he took that upon himself to fulfill and now feeds us to the full in all grace and mercy.